I have a Fujitsu Lifebook P1120 notebook, sub notebook computer from 2001 and it's a really good quality machine and today I'm going to see if I replace the hard drive with uh, SSD hard drive how much impro improvement in the performance I will experience so first a little introduction about this computer it runs on the Crusoe 800 megahertz CPU um, Crusoe no longer exists as a company it has been bought out by I believe uh, another company but when it first came out I promised moderate to high performance with low power consumption so 800 megahertz CPU 256 megabyte of RAM currently running on a 40 gigabyte EIDE hard drive let's see how long it takes to boot up Also on a complex web page like this, where there are many multimedia elements, the browser is not very responsive. And this is probably Internet Explorer 6 that came with Windows XP. So definitely not what I consider to be usable. See, the scroll bar doesn't even come down if I click on it a few times. Just you can see that the hard drive activity here. It's it's loading and loading, but nothing is happening. And opening a JPEG image takes about a second. And to zoom in for full size has about one or one or two seconds of lag. And then try to move it around. It's not too bad. I think this is about two megapixels or maybe three megapixels. And now try to open an MPEG-3 file. It takes a few seconds to open up the application that's associated with it. So it took a little while to open up this application just to play the MPEG-3 file. And the interface is loading slowly. I'm sure Windows Media Player will be faster than this whatever software this is
啊，搜狗 music。Okay, let me see if I can open this with a media player. It might be faster. Still takes a few seconds, maybe maybe ten seconds. It is pretty slow. Now it plays. The next big upgrade that I can do to significantly improve this computer's performance is to upgrade the hard drive to SSD. Believe or not, such option exists. So here I have an SSD hard drive, 64 gigab gigabytes, and it's a SSD to PATA or 40 pin IDE and so it's quite easy just detach this connector from the ribbon cable lift it gently and you can see the existing hard drive is this and this is a Seagate Yes, Seagate. All right, now I will remove it. Remove the connector gently. It might be a bit tight, so I don't want to force it too much to break it. Okay, now this is removed. Reattach it to the new drive. Okay. Now put it back in the sleeve and reattach the connector. Make sure it's secure. Okay. Now Put back the cover and its screw. Okay, that's it. It's a very easy procedure. And I want to also mention, fortunately, this notebook supports boot from external USB CD drive uh, or DVD drive. So for example, here I have a Samsung external USB DVD drive. And all I needed to do is to connect both USB cables 
that comes from the CD drive into the built-in USB ports to give sufficient power to the uh, DVD drive and you can see if you enter the setup you can see from the boot menu you have boot device priority you have floppy drive USB CD-ROM under the hard drive you have option of bootable add-in cards so for a computer of this age it's really not bad it gives you the option to boot off the USB CD drive which makes my installation a lot of easier and now you can see that it boot off the DVD drive and I can try to install the operating system alright now with the new SSD hard drive installed let's see if how much difference it makes in the speed of booting up so here we have the Windows boot menu and press you can see the Windows XP logo Again, this appears to be a little bit faster booting off the SSD hard drive. Mind you, this is a computer with 256 megabytes of RAM, which is quite small and it's not upgradable. And the CPU is only 800 megahertz. So, this part of the system really creates a constraint in the performance. And it seems the SSD hard drive will only be able to help in a very limited way its performance so you can see it's still taking some time albeit not as long as the other one but it's not exactly lightning fast So now you, you're seeing the desktop and if you open applications like Microsoft Excel 2003 it takes like 10-12 seconds to show up and then you can work fairly quickly and also you can you can open Adobe Acrobat reader I mean the speed is reasonable for a computer like this fairly quickly however let's see how does it perform with modern websites using Internet Explorer Internet Explorer opens quickly with a blank page so let's go back to YouTube Yuku for comparison's sake and it's using the same wireless A0211G wireless card
So it loaded the web page a little bit faster than when it had the regular conventional hard drive. However, the speed is nothing spectacular and definitely not the type of improvement you will see changing the hard drive to SSD drive on a newer computer that has at least a Pentium 4 CPU with more memory and like I said the CPU and memory of this computer is too limited to really show the benefits of the SSD even if I had Intel Core or Centrino it would show much more improvement I mean obviously it's more usable than the other system with the uh, hard drive conventional hard drive you can see you can actually scroll down this a little bit faster but it's still painfully slow and not really usable and the video online can be really choppy so let's just try As you can see, you have to wait a long time to load a complicated web page like Youku, possibly like YouTube, and the video performance is choppy. So, if you're only going to be using this for office work, like programming, Word, Excel, and sorts, that sort of things, it's still sufficient, even with the old conventional hard drive. However, as you can see, even with the upgrade to SSD, the performance improvement for more complicated tasks is still restrained by the CPU and memory. And it may not be worth the money to upgrade to the SSD. That's the conclusion that I reached.